Hello everyone, this is my first tutorial ever. I've been learning about game development for about six months now. Um, I released my first game three months ago. I've learned a lot in that process as well. And I'm going to be sharing a lot more videos with you uh, about the problems I encounter as a game developer. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to try and keep these short as well. So if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comment section below. So it's a standard scene. Uh, I have, um, I'll show you how it looks um, when we, the end result right now. So let's click on play. So as we move around our, our player uh, and it gets close to any box, it changes its material and then as we move away from it, it reverts back to its own material. Like that's what we want to achieve. And uh, let me show you what um, the scene has. This is of course a standard uh, capsule as a player. Uh, cap, uh, the player has capsule collider, rigid body, which is frozen along the, the X and Z axis, so it won't tip over when we move it, so the rotation is frozen on it. It has a player script attached to it as well, which we will have a look at in a second. And of course, camera is third person, so it's going to follow the player as it moves. Uh, now I'll talk about these obstacles, so these cubes. Uh, the only important thing that you want to keep in mind is that uh, all of these cubes have a tag pickup assigned to them. So I can pick them up in code easily. And uh, one last thing I wanted to mention is my materials are all stored inside the resources folder. So whenever you put a material or anything in the resources folder, it's easier for you to pick them up using code. And I'll show you that as well. So let's get to the code now. Okay, so I'm, we are here in the code and I have uh, the player script right here. I have the standard variable declaration up top. Uh, this is the start function so we are of course assigning the rigid body so we can use it later on in the code and this is what i was talking about so the resources folder i had in unity uh, that basically makes it easier for me to uh, pick up materials uh, using code and that's how you pick them up so let's say for instance all of my materials were inside another folder inside of resources called let's say material materials and uh, then i would change this to materials like this and that's how i would pick up my material but because they're out out in the open I'll leave it as is and here we have the update function of course we are getting uh, the player movement the input from the player to move it around and uh, this movement variable is used in fixed update because we are dealing with a rigid body so uh, to move the character now this is the main part that I wanted to share with you guys so this is what the video is about so here we are finding all of the objects with the tag pickup so it's going to pick up all of uh, all of the obstacles the boxes I have uh, in the scene uh, it'll put it in this array then we will loop through this array and find the nearest object and assign it to the nearest object game object and then we can of course change the material of that object so if of course the distance is equal to zero so it's running for the first time ever uh, this is how you calculate this is one way of calculating uh, the distance between two objects you can also do it this way so if you wanted to let's say calculate distance a different way there is a vector 3 uh, vector 3 function called distance you can put the first 
position and then you can put the second position and this is going to be the exact same thing so if you use this or if you use this way it's exactly the same thing so I'll just take this one out for now so we are assigning the nearest object I'm leaving it here so you can copy it as well this code absolutely works you can copy it to your own project and use it however you want so we are assigning the nearest object for the first time we are assigning its material as well to the original material variable that we have up top so we have its own material saved and then of course uh, if uh, next time so it's a loop right so it's going to run many times however many objects we have in the scene uh, so here if uh, let's say the distance uh, uh, that we have already like in place uh, uh, for the previous object so if this specific object is closer to the player then of course uh, this part will execute and we will change the nearest object to the new object and so on and here we are assigning the selected material to the new object so this is how everything works uh, I hope it, ma it made sense to you guys I wanted to keep it short and sweet so I hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a thumbs up and uh, thanks so much